Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20. If you're having a Hyundai Sonata, guys, you need to remove or replace front window regulator. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission as a shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. If you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price, and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead explain how we need to uh, what you need to do to actually remove and replace the window regulator on this car so next step it's a little bit nasty looking guys okay it's a little bit nasty looking it's a parts car that we'll be demonstrating on so what do you need to do now first thing we need to remove gently the cover for the mirror okay just gently pry it out be careful, okay, not to break it, perfect, just like that, three clips, okay, let me show you three clips, they go, okay, in this hose right here, now, <coughs> right here under that handle, we have a cover, okay, that cover right here, uh, all we have to do, okay, get a screwdriver, okay, and pry it on the back or the front side, it will come out, this one was actually loose, underneath, there is one screw, okay, with a few of screwdriver, okay, that we need to remove, okay, right here, so let's go ahead, do that, okay, see if it's going to come out or we will need to get a regular screwdriver probably, no. I don't think it will work, so let's get a screwdriver, we'll remove that one uh, and uh, it's important to remove it, otherwise you will not be able to remove the uh, door panel, so let's go ahead, it's pretty tight. Then there is one more that's hidden guys. Now for a 2010-2015 generation it's pretty simple design. There is one cap right here, okay that cap, you can see it is in the handle. So I need to get the flathead screwdriver, okay, and you pry it guys, okay, you go in the thing, okay like that, you pry it and it comes up. Okay, perfect. Now. Another screwdriver, it's so dirty here, I don't know even if the screwdriver will catch the screw. Perfect. Next. We need to go ahead, okay, and pull the screw out to make sure it's not holding. Now, at that point, check everywhere else, but we should have no screws, okay, holding anymore. The only thing that we need, guys, is a prying tube. And now we have multiple clips and once we remove the door panel we will explain where exactly each clip is located that way you will know where to apply pressure okay so you don't break anything okay check it out it's coming loose even if you get your finger sometimes underneath it it can help here i think you need to lift it up a little bit to come out okay and now we need to disconnect all the cables so <coughs> now uh, how we can do that now guys okay there are actually a few uh, things that we can do we can remove the interior door handle right here okay or let me see if we'll be able to disconnect the cables like that you press down here and you pull it out now something fell i will see what it is looks like okay that door handle is broken on the inside that's a piece okay right here for the lock it looks like lock and unlock as well uh, now we need to disconnect the wiring harness for the mirror switch so let me see okay it's right here okay that thing let me show you now that thing here in the middle you press down you pull it out same thing on this side don't put any no go down go down a little bit not to have pressure on the wire The same thing guys, okay right here you press in, you pull out, one wire right here, okay and the door panel came out you can see just like that. Now the clips, okay let's explain where the clips are, a few clips didn't remove one of them here, so get it with the clip removal tool and we're going to install it on the door panel and uh, now all the clips that are here, okay you start with here one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine clips here guys and i don't think there is more holding that panel if you need to buy replacement clips we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get some from 
next step we're going to install the key then we need to install the window switch and we'll need to bring the window down okay let's install the window switch quick okay perfect uh this is uh this is guys the wiring harness okay for the window switch and next okay what we have to do now is <coughs> we're going to remove those caps rubber caps right here there should be one more over there okay so one here one over there we're going to bring the window down until we see the okay the bolts or clips that hold it in place so bring the window down okay check it out a little bit more oh right there one board is here one board is right there 10 millimeter bolts it looks like so we can turn the ignition off and now uh, what do we need to do we need to get a 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove these two bolts okay and in some cases you just need to pre-loosen them a little bit you don't need to take them all the way off so let's uh, see which design this one uses okay that's it don't take it off all the way just three four revolutions probably okay now i want to grab the window okay it's coming out so at that point all we have to do pick the window guys okay pick the window with two hands okay right here we need to remove the weather strip now let's pick that window and you can guys gently okay pull it out in an angle and your window came out just like that for the next step it's important to disconnect the car battery and wait for at least about an hour why because that's the side impact crash sensor right here and we'll need to disconnect it every time you work on airbag sensors or anything like that you need to have the car battery disconnected for at least one hour so the computers can actually discharge and uh, make sure guys you know what you're doing with airbag sensors uh, if you're not qualified and certified i will not recommend it so we'll go ahead disconnect our car battery and we'll continue with the next step car battery has been disconnected for about one hour now we can go ahead okay and pull that clip push here pull out you can see and it comes okay just like that now uh, this sensor i think it will just stay okay it will just uh, uh, stay right here i don't think we need to actually go ahead and remove it uh, now we need to pull the cables right here out of that bracket okay remember the big one goes on top little one on the bottom you cannot mess them up but just in case what else we need to do okay the window motor needs to come out right here and this is the wiring harness for it as well uh, the speaker wire we have it disconnected okay this one here you have this one so all we have to do press here and disconnect it perfect you can see where it's located now window motor with torx 20. perfect came out now <clears throat> here guys we need to see okay we'll have quite a few wires here and also we'll have a wire that goes to the door lock actuator here so we'll see okay how that works let me just pull that seal i want to see what we have here that's where the wire goes to so we will inspect and see how we're going to remove all that so 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove okay that panel that holds everything so let's do that quite a few bolts right now here guys you're going to grab it it will be probably kind of like stuck because there is a seal and if it hasn't been removed for a while okay it may be really really stuck we need to pull the wiring harness out now pull it out of the clips okay let's see if this one if it's going to come out here or it's not everything is like super super tight guys so i wonder if we need to 
go ahead okay, and pull it out of here a little bit too. See if we can gain a little bit of room. Okay, perfect. Okay, that wiring harness came loose. No? Okay, right here it's stuck. I can see the glue seal as well. Uh, you have the window regulator here guys, so we need to bring it down now, once you do that you need to kind of like pull it down a little bit because on two points you have the window regulator the seals with the lock cable and the cable for the uh, release okay, is right here as well now right here guys, okay in some cases you might need to remove the door lock actuator okay but now let's see, one second I'm trying to see how things function here because it looks like guys okay we might need to remove the door lock actuator together with the thing and in that case we'll need to remove the exterior door handle too so now for the exterior door handle right here guys <coughs> in order to remove it we first need to remove that piece right here we have one cap so we'll get a small screwdriver okay and hopefully don't mess our fingers and if you look right here okay you have an eight I believe it's an 8 millimeter, guys. 8 millimeter uh, bolt that we need to actually pre loosen. So let's go ahead, okay, and do that now. So, oh, let's go in more. Right there. Yep, 8 millimeter, guys. So let's go ahead, get it tight, uh, get it loose, excuse me. I'll grab the lock cylinder here. A little bit more. Okay, let me see now. Okay, it came out. You can see like that. Screw it just a little bit so this, the bolt doesn't fall off. Now, <coughs> right here, you grab that handle. Okay, let me see the design exactly. Okay, on uh, this one here to make sure that we don't... Okay, mess it up. But, <laughs> yeah, it just slides towards the back. So it goes in, then you go back, you just tuck and it comes out, you can see, just like that. That seal goes between the two pieces here. Next what we need to do right here guys, we have one, uh, one bolt screw that we need to remove here for the interior door handle assembly. So let's go ahead and remove that one 8mm socket. Okay yeah that's, that's good, we're taking it off. It's just a shallow bolt, a shallow screw. Okay, that's, okay, let me see, I think that's good. You don't need to take it all the way off, you take it loose. Okay, and here, okay, let's remove those seals. Okay, perfect. Now, if you, okay, let me see now how it's going to go exactly. We might need to, okay, go ahead, okay, and remove now, okay, the, uh, door lock actuator so let's go ahead do that and see if everything will release and we'll see uh, what we need to do after that so it's always good to watch the video until the end so you know exactly how it works guys because sometimes okay you think it's one way you try to price something it breaks so don't force things always okay be be careful now uh, we have three bolts here for the door lock actuator okay with the torx 30 looks like it Okay, torque sturdy, start looking bit right here. Let's go ahead, remove this. Pretty, pretty tight. We need to get the ratchet to get them loose. Uh, those little bolts are always tight, guys. And you need to install them tight as well. Sometimes they'll have thread locks so they don't get loose from vibrations as well while you drive. So <coughs> we'll see if that's the case with this. On other cars, I've noticed that often they'll have a thread locker. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead, get them loose. Yep, there is thread locker, guys. Almost every single time. Perfect. Now, right here. Okay, let's see now here. Okay. Uh, looks like guys, okay, that screw will need to come out, okay. I think this screw will just need to come out on this side, okay, in order to be able to remove it. So let's go ahead and push it, or remove it all the way so we, we can see if we can put that handle in. 
perfect and you can see okay the handle move now okay everything is loose on this side actuator is loose so now we need to see if we grab everything if it's going to come out together as one assembly oh one bolt got stuck here on the handle okay perfect okay I told you guys everything will come out together as one whole piece so <clears throat> now if you uh, look right here guys okay that's one complicated okay complicated design so right here okay you're going to have the wheel with the cables guys okay you can see the wheel with the cables is right here on this side if you look at it okay that wheel can come off okay that wheel can simply come off okay and uh, okay let's uh, let me just find out exactly to uh, show you how so back in the day used to be able actually guys to remove the window rig later on in days uh, and uh, they used to be attaching with only like four bolts in each corner but now uh, it's complicated because uh, if you remove it you have to remove the cables first to pull that wheel outside uh, it's complicated guys and you will not get it right probably the first time but uh, the best way to go is to buy the whole regulator with the cover which is not expensive at all that's what it looks like and uh, I will guys put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from all you will have to do is uh, disconnect the speaker disconnect the door lock actuator just uh, slide it to the front it comes out okay and put it on the new one so that's how you guys do it on Hyundai Sonata hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time